Hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Aurelia. I'm so excited that you have stopped by. Today's video is going to be all about fabrics and how it can help you with online shopping. If you are new to my channel, the content that I provide here is all around style and fashion for the plus size mature woman. I am a firm believer that life is way too short to live without style. I post one to two times a week, so if you enjoy my content, please make sure to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you don't miss anything here on my channel. If you are a returning friend, and welcome back. I'm so happy to see you again. I actually received a request from one of you, Vicky. You asked for a video on fabrics and honestly, I thought that it was a fantastic idea because now that we are in the realm of online shopping, it is very challenging sometimes to try and figure out what you're buying, how's it gonna fit, how's it going to move, is it gonna be comfortable? Is it gonna make me hot? You know, all of those things. Now, I'm not going into any great detail on a bunch of different fabrics. I'm gonna to touch on some of the more common ones that we see in our clothing today and just talk a little bit about what to expect, what kind of things to look for when you are online shopping and um, what might be good and what might not be so comfortable. So. Let's go ahead and dive in. The first fabric that I wanted to talk about is actually one of my most favorites, and it's because it does a lot and it is very comfortable, and that is Ponty Knit. Now, we've got all kinds of knits on the market. You've got like a sweater knit, a cable knit, a regular knit, any kind of knit, but a Ponty Knit actually stands out in my mind, and it is one of my favorites because it is an actual double woven knit. So it is thicker than a lot of knits that are out there, and because it is thicker, it's got a two-way stretch, and it will actually help to streamline your body. So cellulite, things like that, it helps to smooth all that out and it does bounce back very, very well. So you don't run the risk of stretching it out and you know it not fitting again. I've got several pieces in my wardrobe. You can find pretty much anything in Ponty these days. I even have a blazer that is made of Ponty knit. I've got a top, a couple of them actually, that are made of a thicker Ponty knit and they all are fantastic. And they're always, especially the black Ponty knits, are always really, really black and they tend not to fade. They hold their shape very, very well. So if you come across something that is made of Ponty knit, know that it is going to be stretchy, it is going to be comfortable, and it is going to help to smooth things out a bit, but it is knit. It's not an actual like a cotton or a denim or anything like that. The next big one that I wanted to touch on is polyester. Now polyester has a bad rap and for due reason. There are good polyesters and there are bad polyesters. Generally speaking, polyester is not a very sustainable fabric. It can be an itchy fabric. It can make you hot. It can hold in heat. It can make you sweaty, you know, all of those things. But there is so much polyester in our lives today that it is virtually impossible to get away from it. And what I would suggest is looking for really good, nice polyesters that aren't too, too stretchy and that um, aren't uh, really thick and scratchy. Polyester blends very well with different things. So you're gonna have polyesters that are blended with viscose or spandex or nylon and things like that. So just be mindful of the type of polyester and the quantity of polyester a garment has. The other textile fabric that I wanted to touch on that you should be mindful of when you're online shopping is spandex. Now, spandex mixes with everything, and frankly, I think spandex is in just about everything. And spandex is actually not a bad textile to have in smaller quantities, because it is going to give your garment a little bit of stretch, a little bit of movement. It is blended into jeans, for instance, to provide more comfort. Now, the one thing that I will say about spandex, though, is that I believe that spandex can lose its shape over time. And I say this because, especially with denim, spandex Spandex is one of those textiles though that is a good thing to have in clothes if you want them to have a little bit of give, you know, and you want them to stretch just a little bit. I don't scoff at spandex, just know that the higher the percentage of spandex, the more stretchy the garment is going to be. I wanted to touch on viscose. Now viscose is touted to be sustainable, but it's not really. Viscose is an actual, it's a derivative of rayon. Let's talk about viscose and rayon together. Rayon and viscose are both created out of the uh, fibers of trees. The more sustainable options are viscose 
or rayons that are made of bamboo because bamboo grows so quickly and so plentifully that it's not going to have as much of an impact as far as like deforestation is concerned as using actual wood pulp. That's a distinction to make. Clothing designers though, don't always tell you where the viscose comes from. That aside, viscose is a rayon derivative and it is actually really, really popular. And I've got a few things that are made with viscose in them. Viscose has a really lovely drape and it's got a really nice fall to it. And it's very soft. It's really, really very luxurious feeling. So a lot of designers when they do their lower end collections will use viscose because it is a lot less expensive than silk. All in all, viscose will drape very nicely on you. The things that I have of viscose are some t-shirts that I got from Nordstrom and they looked really great at the beginning, but now after a year of wearing, they're not so, uh, they, they've gotten a little bit bigger, I think, and a little bit looser. So viscose, I think, has a little bit of a hard time holding on to its shape, and I don't feel that it is something that will last for the long haul, even if you take good care of them. I, that's at least been my experience with viscose. I wanted to touch on some natural fibers that are out there that are actually what I feel are the better buy and those are things like silk and cashmere. So let me touch on silk first. Silk is a natural fabric made by the output of silkworms and it is not vegan. So a lot of people who are vegan or are against animal cruelty or don't like wearing animal products won't wear silk. That's not me. Silk is definitely going to be more expensive. It's not gonna be a cheaper fabric to buy, but I feel that it is definitely worth the investment. If I had the choice of buying something in silk or buying something in a like a viscose that has got similar luxurious type feel to it, I would definitely go for the silk. Why? Because the silk is going to last me a lot longer. And it does require a little more care, but it is definitely worth it because of the longevity that I would have. There are silk blouses out there that can last you well into 15, 20 years if you take good care of them. I would much rather spend more money on something made of silk than I would on something made of viscose because I know that I'm gonna have that for a long, long time. I always, always urge you to make the bigger investment. It might be tempting to go shop at Walmart and buy 10 shirts for the cost that you would have with one silk blouse, but I guarantee you those 10 shirts are gonna end up costing you more money because you will end up getting rid of them after a year or two. Whereas the silk top, you're going to have for years and years and years in your closet and it's always going to be a classic. It's always gonna look really, really good. And so that's a consideration to make. It's not super shiny like satin, but it has a really lovely sheen to it. You can absolutely dress it up and you can dress it down. It is very, very versatile and absolutely worth the investment in my opinion. Cashmere is another one that I am a firm believer in. Cashmere is so soft and so incredible because of the nature of the knit, cashmere will pill. It doesn't mean that the garment has gotten old. It's just shedding like it's supposed to. And so if you get yourself a deep pillar, problem solved pretty quickly and easily. Cashmere though is going to be one of those investment pieces. I would suggest going 100% cashmere because that's where you're gonna get the most longevity and that's where you're gonna get most of the benefits that cashmere brings. These pieces will last you for many, many years as long as you take care of them. Merino wool is another fabric that I think is underrated, but I am starting to see it come up more and more. Wool in general is itchy. I do not like wearing wool but I will wear merino wool and the reason that I will wear merino wool is because it is manufactured in such a way that it is much much softer and it's got a finer yarn or fiber it's got a real fine knit weave to it and merino wool is another one of those trans seasonal pieces especially right now where we're in a transition period between summer and winter we're in the fall where what temperatures are a little bit cooler but they can still get a little warm merino wool is a great choice because it will help to keep 
you dry. It doesn't make you sweat as much. I've even started seeing athletic wear being made from merino wool because of its wicking properties. So that is something to consider if you're looking and you see merino wool, know that it is going to be one of those really great transitional pieces that can last you a long time if you take care of it and um, will be really comfortable and will look really good for a good long while. Uh, I wanted to touch on cotton as well. Cotton gets a bad rap because it uses so much water to produce and um, it is not very sustainable even from a growth perspective. I still believe that cotton is not a bad fabric, especially during the summer months, but it does not have any stretch to it whatsoever unless it's blended with something like spandex. It can be transseasonal. Most people will wear it during the summer, but it, you can wear it in the winter. It does provide a certain level of warmth, I think. I think there's nothing really wrong with cotton. And when they blend it with something like spandex, it makes it just a little bit more stretchy, a little bit more comfortable and attainable for somebody like me, you know, if you're plus size. Denim is another one where you've got a spandex mix in there and that's what makes them so comfortable. I remember back in the day when you used to buy your jeans um, for like the first day of school or whatever, I always hated my jeans in the first month that I was going to school because they were so stiff and so uncomfortable because there was no spandex in them. They didn't have spandex back then. You could go with just the straight up denim if you want to, but know that they're not gonna be as stretchy. They're not gonna be as forgiving as denim with spandex. The other fabric that I wanted to talk about, things like twill. Twill is just really means the weave. It's got the, de the, the definite rose that you can see in there, but twill can be made of anything, honestly. It can be a cotton twill, a poly twill. It doesn't really matter. It's not corduroy though. Don't get that. Don't get it mistaken with corduroy. And twill is okay. Um, I think it's kind of an outdated fabric. I don't see it a lot except in blazers. I tend to stay away from twill. I'm not a big fan of twill myself. That's just a personal preference. I would much rather have something in a ponty knit than I would in a twill because the ponty is going to have a lot more stretch and it's going to smooth things out much better than twill will. Corduroy is another one that is actually, I think I saw corduroy pants on the runway and I've seen some fall trend reports talking about corduroy making a comeback in the fall. I like corduroy. It makes noise when you walk if you have thighs that rub together. So just know that people are going to hear you coming. But I personally don't care. I like my corduroy and I prefer corduroy with a finer whale. And the whale, what that means is that's the thickness of the actual ribs in the corduroy. Me, I prefer a very thin, skinny whale. But I do also appreciate appreciate corduroy pieces that have a thicker whale. There's just something kind of old world and very traditional about corduroy that has a thicker whale. I'm, I'm a fan of corduroy, especially in the winter. I like wearing corduroy. So, you know, by all means, go get yourself a pair of corduroys. Who cares if they can hear you coming? Nylon, it's another one of those fabrics that's like polyester, um, doesn't have a lot of stretch in it unless it's blended with spandex. And it's, can, it can be very hot. Nylon is worse than polyester, in my opinion. And maybe nylon is a polyester. Who knows? But I'm not a big fan of it. That's what I have for you as far as some of the more common fabrics that we have that you will encounter while you're online shopping. Let me know if you have any questions about any other types of fabrics in the comments down below. I will absolutely answer your question. I'll do the research and legwork for you. I will have another video for you linked right here so that you can continue enjoying my content. Thank you as always for spending a few minutes of your time with me. I truly appreciate it. Remember to live your life filled with confidence, grace, and style. I will see you in my next upload. Bye.